Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we're going to look at Sculpting the Lower Lats by Larry Scott and I had to, I had to use a photo here of Franco Colombo looking amazing. I think he had one of the best lower lats in the day. I mean, uh, Larry Scott had some pretty awesome lats in himself and you'll see that later on. Again, a great shot of Franco. High versus low lats. Now, Vince Garanda was an advocate of actually not working the low lats, but as you can see, you get an incredible v shape back by keeping the waist tight and having that beautiful flare as shown here by Franco with really uh, thick, dense, and wide lats that go all the way from the top down to the bottom. I mean, his even curve out, it's amazing, fantastic back there. Larry's tips are to work the full range of motion. And so not just stopping the arms uh, while bent, but for example, when doing, when doing chin-ups, but to really hang, hang all the way, um, and, and then contract all the way, for example, again, with chin-ups, all the way up to the sternum. Some, uh, in Vince Garana, for example, I uh, mentioned doing uh, uh, chin-ups, close grip, all the way up down to the bottom of your rib box, basically down to your belly button. Uh, so really using a full range of motion will work the full lat from top to bottom. Varying the line of pull is also important, then that means using different exercises, and we will go through some of these right now. The exercises that Larry suggested included close grip chins because they allow you, as you can see, to fully stretch the lat at the bottom position and upon rising, you can actually bend the body backwards. This was a very favorite exercise of Vince Gironda, as I mentioned. You bend all the way back and you end up basically hitting the lower part of the rib box uh, and the belly button basically up onto the chin. Uh, onto the chin bit, onto the onto the bar, sorry. And so that's the full uh, explanation of close grip chins to work the lower lat. Uh, here's Arnold doing cross bench pullovers. This is another exercise recommended by Larry Scott. I couldn't find any of Larry, so I just used one of Arnold, why not? Another exercise recommended was seated cable rows, again, fully stretching and almost, uh, as you can see, he's almost rounding the back as he comes forward to get a full stretch of the lats. But when he comes up, he actually used to really um, uh, contract the lats low and hard. Another one of his uh, favorite exercises was the hanging scapula rotation. And here, basically, what he actually did was again hanging uh, from the bar with the lats fully stretched he would only bring the rib box that is the torso up as you can see in the second image by keeping the arms fairly straight and then lowering again and so the way you do that all all, all that all the uh, movement actually comes from retraction of the scapula and then bringing it out again so you actually bring the scapula together on the way up and you flare out the scapula um, on the way down and it's purely a lat motion without bending the arms you basically neglect the use of the bicep and only use the lat muscle for this particular motion Another exercise that uh, Larry Scott used to enjoy was the straddled one-arm lap pull. As you can see, he actually recommends, and this is from Loaded Guns, to have the feet really far apart. And in doing so, you straddle one arm over the bent knee, as you can see, and the other arm, which is extended, really uh, loops over and hangs over and extends far so that the lat is is very stretched and you can see that he's that in doing so he even turns the pinky finger up and all of these tips are very important as he mentioned 
for hitting the lower lat. The more you stretch, the greater the range of motion, the lower you hit the lat. The program that he recommends in loaded guns is a couple of supersets, close grip chin-ups, supersetted with dumbbell pullovers, and then seated cable rows or straddled one-arm lap pulls, supersetted with hanging scapular rotations. The sources, as I mentioned, are loaded guns. I think he's also got a booklet uh, developing a V-man taper, I believe. And I'm pretty sure these exercises are also explained in there. And as I mentioned, you can see that Larry had a very um, well-developed back, thick, muscular, wide, and it tapered rather low. Phenomenal. You should end up looking like Franco after you've done something like this, I hope. And I mean, Franco was <laughs> probably the best example of having really wide lats that flared all the way down to the bottom, all the way down to the bottom, down to the trunk. I mean, they are as low as his, uh, his lowest uh, abdominals there, at the third line of the abdominals. Amazing, amazing, amazing lat development from Franco. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave me your comments. Subscribe if you haven't. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. See you soon. Bye.